Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial. My name is Seanak Patwardhan and I'm going to show you how to create a dotted pattern in After Effects. While you can do this both in Photoshop and Illustrator, sometimes if you're like me, you're just too lazy for the extra clicks. So here it is, dotted pattern, After Effects. Okay, once you're in After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition, 1920 by 1080 is cool. Frame rate doesn't really matter because since we are creating a pattern, it's a still frame, so 30 FPS is fine. I'll just go with what I generally use. Press OK. Now let's create the first dot. Go to the Ellipse tool. By the way, if if uh, if you see the rectangle tool here, which is by default, it's the rectangle tool. You can just click and hold to get to the ellipse tool and if you double click on this ellipse tool it creates an ellipse in such a way that the boundaries of the ellipse kind of touch the boundaries of the composition i always feel that this is a faster way of creating an ellipse since i don't have to reposition it in such a way that uh, the center of the ellipse is in the same place as the center of the comp so yeah go to the ellipse one Ellipse path one unlink the size and change this to 30 by 30 so that's our first dot now to make copies of this dot go to add and repeater go to the repeater one options and make copies of this now you can make as many copies as you want as long as uh, it kind of exceeds the boundaries of this composition area so yeah and you can offset them with the offset option so seems like I need more copies okay and now uh, I think these are a little bit too far away from each other so you can go to the transform repeater one and change the position to bring them closer that's cool now this is just one line of the dots now if I make more lines that will create the pattern so go to add and go to repeater again open it up and in this you can change the copies but right now what is happening is that the repeater 2 is also repeating in the same axis as the, as the repeater 1 which is the x-axis so go to the transform of repeater 2 and uh, change the position x to 0 and position y just click and drag and now we are starting to get our pattern so basically we need more copies and we need to offset this further Now the dots are in straight lines. If you need more of a crisscross pattern, you can just change the position again. And that will give you sort of a crisscross dotted pattern. And again, we need to increase the copies, offset this a little bit more. Oh, sorry, I need to do that with the repeater one. So offset this, make more copies. And now if you feel that the dots are too big, you can always go to the ellipse one and change the size of these dots. Don't forget to link them first or otherwise you will get something like this, which is also kind of interesting, but yeah, I'm not looking for that. Go for this. So that's more of a, that's a little more sleek. And the position can change a little bit, so looks standard a bit closer so yeah and by the way if you go if you play with the other options you can get some interesting effects for example if you change the scale in any of these repeaters you can scale them in one place that's kind of interesting as well 
and again the opacity as well so start opacity if you tone it down the dots at the left are completely transparent and the ones at the right are completely opaque so 100% opacity to 0% opacity and uh, of course you have the rotation as well but since it's a flat circle why would you rotate it why give me one good reason and it is as simple as that hope you liked the tutorial if you did please actually place a like on the video on youtube since it helps me to stay motivated and yes also please subscribe to this channel until the next time shonak over and out